Hi babies, welcome back to the second episode of the week where we are gonna be talking about erogenous zones. Different areas you can stimulate the skin to turn your partner on sexually. So to start things off, I have a question for you. What is our largest sexual organ in our body? It is our skin. This is exactly why so many different locations throughout our body can be super stimulating and very sensitive to touch, stimulating arousal. Erogenous zones are a really great way that you and your partner can explore each other's bodies without stimulating the genitals. So these are things that, yeah, you can do in a public place if you are feeling a little frisky. When you figure out their spots, this is very easy for you to use to your advantage to get them going. So the first one I want to talk about is the highway to the genitals. That is the inner thigh. The inner thigh is one of the more sensitive places on the body as well as nice and plump and fleshy. So when stimulating this spot, some light stroking and light touch might feel good, some kissing or maybe even a little bit of biting on that more fleshy plump area. As you make your way up the inner thigh, you're going to hit the second spot, which is the inner thigh crease right where your underwear would normally sit. This spot is filled with tons of nerve endings. A perfect example of stimulating the inner crease is going to be light touch and sensation going back and forth right along that panty line. Either with your fingers, your lips, your tongue perhaps. And if you want to take it up another level, you can add in some sensory tools such as a flogger or maybe even some feathers. The next one I want to talk about is located on the upper half of the body. And it's something that a lot of us already know. And it is the ears. The ears are filled with sensory receptors. Tracing the perimeter of your partner's ear canal with your fingertip. Breathing nice and hot and heavy and moaning in their ear. Obviously, you're not like, ah, in their ear. You're doing something more light and sensual and sexual. Like, you have to be very close to hear this. That hotness coming from your breath. The next spot I'm going to talk about is also on the ear. And it is the ear low. Here you want to start off with something super, super soft and gentle. Whether it's starting to kiss behind the ear, working your way onto the ear lobe, adding a little bit of sucking and maybe a little bit of nibbling. Play with different pressures and sensations. At this spot, communication is definitely recommended. The jawline is one of those ones that just tends to be a little bit overlooked. However, along that jawline is quite a sensitive area. So adding some stimulation to the jaw in your next makeout session might be the move for you. Whether it's kissing softly behind the ear, working your way down to the neck, onto the chest and then away you go down the body. The next area that I want you to give plenty of attention to is that lower stomach region. Giving this area plenty of kisses, licking, stroking, or maybe even a slight claw scratch. This will help you build the tension in your foreplay. Also a really great area to experiment with different temperatures or textures. For example, dragging an ice cube across the lower stomach and then incorporating some of that warm breath over the wet trail. The next one I want to talk about is the nipples. Now the nipples can either be a hit or a complete miss. However, this is a spot that can be extremely sensitive, especially if they are around their menstrual cycle. So this area also revolves around a lot of communication. Start off with some soft touch, some light kisses, some light sucking, and then you can gradually increase from there. And you never know, maybe the nipple clamps might be coming out next session. Now the next one is a spot you definitely want to try stimulating. It is called the perineum. This is exactly where a bundle of ultra sensitive nerve endings lay. Now this is a pretty easy spot for you to stimulate using your finger, whether you're massaging or stroking or just adding a slight bit of pressure. Now this is a really easy area to stimulate when you are having oral sex. So try that out the first round. Then you can eventually dabble into maybe some licking of the area as well and adding some temperature play in there. And then you will know if it's your love of spot. Now this spot is for the penis owners out there. It is called the front this is a little spot that everyone should know about. Located on the underside of the penis where the head meets the shaft. And this spot is even more sensitive if the person is uncircumcised. In this area, you want to keep the touch super light because it is very sensitive. So try something just as soft and as simple as your fingertips, the tip of your tongue, little licks to 
to blow your partner's mind. Now, those are just some of the erogenous zones. However, the biggest one of them all is going to be your brain because your brain and your skin and your body work hand in hand. If your partner or yourself is not in a relaxed space, that is essentially going to be just desensitizing you to receiving your max amount of pleasure. So make sure your partner is feeling calm, nice and relaxed and in a good state of mind. That will make it much easier for you and your partner to both receive pleasure together. All right, babies, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. But for now, I will see you guys on Monday. Cheers, babies. Have a good weekend.